This discovery sparked reaction at the Capitol today. WJTV 12's Katie Rowe went out there to talk with lawmakers. She joins us now live in the studio. Katie. Margaret and I spoke with a handful of lawmakers this morning. Many weren't ready to address the story. One Republican I spoke with off camera, though, questioned when this type of skeleton digging stops. I also spoke with a pair of Democrats, State Rep John Hines and State Senator Deborah Dawkins, who, uh, who offered their thoughts. Well, I, I think in the environment that we're in, people always go into people's past. And uh, this is just a case of the chickens coming home to roost. And hopefully uh, people will remember that people have done stuff in their past and they've gotten away with certain things and sometimes they need to be accountable for them. They're known for their Old South yearly banquet and uh, party and um, part of their heritage is racism and we just can't afford to have that anymore. This follows Virginia Governor Ralph Northam, whose medical school year yearbook page shows a photo of a man in blackface standing next to another man wearing a Ku Klux Klan robe and hood. Mississippi Governor Phil Bryant called on Northam to resign. And Representative Hines agreed with the governor's opinion on that situation and thinks the same should be applied to Lieutenant Governor Rees. Hear more from both lawmakers coming up at 5. Margaret Ann.